okay to get out and do some hiking. Uh, if you want to head up and do the hike to higher elevations, you want to do Mount LeConte, there's a couple ways to go about doing it. My very first hike here in East Tennessee when I moved down here was Rainbow Falls. Really? It was, and it was, it's it's a good solid hike, that's for sure. Missy yeah. came by the way, with the latest Fit and Fun Adventure. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Good. The weather's wonderful. Yeah, the weather. This is the kind of weather that it yeah. makes it perfect to get into the mountains because, mm -hmm. a, the higher you go in elevation, the cooler it typically becomes. Right. B, you're underneath the canopy of trees. The other thing I did in my very first Great hike views. here in East yep. Tennessee is literally being from Colorado. I lathered up in sunscreen mm -hmm. and didn't realize I was going to be in the shadows of trees the entire hike. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. So, yeah. But Rainbow Falls is a good one. Yes, and the Get on Trail series I do with Friends of the Smokies every Wednesday in April and October. We have one more, but last week went to Rainbow Falls. Okay. And it was kind of neat because Friends of the Smokies, you know, helped sponsor the Trails Forever program. Mm -hmm. And we got to see firsthand all the work that's been done. I mean, close to a and million a dollars. Lot. They had to really? redo the whole trail. You know, there were, we saw some of the burn area. We had three ladies that oh, won a right. Humana free trails uh, for last week. And we, you could tell right there, Mike, the views are great. But when we turned, you can see that you can see some where the fire was. So they re yeah. redid the whole trail. And it's just amazing. You see the flowers. But if you notice, too, a lot of the, the bridges, the boulders are just incredible, all the work they've done. Oh, hmm. That's one of my favorite, um, Wake Robin Trillium. What's it called? Wake Robin Trillium. Look at you. You're getting good at your wildflowers. Well, I mean, it's April. May, I'll forget them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ed Fleming in the blue shirts, one of our leaders, does such a wonderful job, knows all about the park. He even brought pictures of what the trail looked like in the 50s, 40s, and it used to cost $4 to go to LeConte and stay overnight. Four bucks. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that is and now a, it's 100 bucks, right? Oh, 150 150? It's worth it, but and you get food with it. You right. can see some of the burn area that we could still see. Yeah. Um, that is called a painted trillium right there. Look at you. Yeah, and those are the three ladies that won a drawing we did a few weeks ago at Humana, so they got to come for free. That one of is our sponsors. so awesome. Uh, we had about 48 people. Did you really? Um, cool. Mm -hmm. We have leaders in and sweep, so we all, you know, we all got so off the trail fine. Everyone stays together. Yes. Right? Uh, but it was just amazing to see that 300 visitors a day go to Rainbow Falls, they predict. Oh, really? A lot of people. That's a lot. Yes. It is a busy trail. I do it remember is. that. Uh, elevation, I mean, it's, it's pretty steep. It's, it's a round good, trip. It's a good hike. If you just go to the falls and back, it's just it's five, a little over five. Five miles, yeah. You know, and um, so a lot of families. But it is pretty steep, so I would warn people. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a, sh quote, short hike, it's fairly steep. Uh, take your time. But it's just amazing to look around and see, like, one of the... Um, Right at the the waterfall, you can see this big stone that they placed there for the bridge to go uh, across the creek. Right. And you, I mean, the work is amazing. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, and, and we wouldn't have all these trails without all the volunteers and all right. the hard work that donations. these uh, donations and the, these people do for sure. Mm -hmm. um, real quick, you know, one thing I do notice and I, when I get on the trails in the Smokies, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you've noticed this, people wear the wrong shoes. Oh. All the time. I, it blows me away. I see people coming down from like LeConte. Right. Wearing there was a like man, the there wrong was a man shoes. That had on shoes kind of like yours, but they were slip ons. Are you serious? You know, and you don't want to say anything, but you go, really? Yeah. You My know, if, if you're watching us, you're visiting, you want to take a hike. I mean, just a good solid pair of tennis shoes at least. Right. And water. And, and, know, and know this time of year, the snakes are coming out a little bit too. I know. I don't like them. No. Did you see any on your tra on, on the no, trail? No, I haven't seen any this No, but spring. they get in the sunshine. They, it's usually the mm -hmm. sunny rocks, the warm rocks that they are in. Right. But if anybody wants to join you, how do they join you? Uh, they can call 541-4500 and work at Covenant Health or just find me on social media. Um, one more hike tomorrow. Okay. And then I'm getting ready to uh, tape a show with Chris Blue in just about 30 minutes. That, fun. Did you hear that? I know. It's going to be so fun. Did you hear that? Chris but Blue. But I forgot my tennis shoes. I've got to go home real quick because I don't think I can do it in these shoes. Do a little bit of working out with Missy Kane. Yeah, anyway, that's awesome. Fun. Missy, thank you so much. Thanks, I appreciate Mike. it.